Hi everybody, I've been asked to do a quick one-off video about um, spawning custom buildings in DAISY uh, community servers for console, this works for PC as well, using the DAISY editor mod. So we're going to go back to some, some real basic concepts here um, because I understand that in my videos and other people's videos as well, often we skip over those things. So what you can do in DAISY, and we've been able to do it for the last couple of updates, is you can create a custom JSON file um, and then you put that on your server and that will then spawn in buildings and structures and all sorts of wonderful things. And you can create these JSON files by hand or if you've got something like, uh, if you've got a PC that can run DAISY and the DAISY editor mod, you can create them in the DAISY editor mod, export them, then upload them. And it's very easy and very, very powerful, but you need to understand a few few basics first. So if we look at our server, so this is my PlayStation 4 server, um, what you want to do is you want to get to the web interface and then you want to get to the file browser. Okay, and then go into your missions folder, so daisyoffline.churnerus plus um, or daisyoffline.enoch. And excuse me, in here you'll notice a folder called custom. And the critical thing about uploading custom JSONs that will spawn in buildings is this is where they go. Okay, you can't put them anywhere else on a on a on a um, console server. This is the only place they will get read by the game. And also, I highly recommend that if you're on PC and you're using custom JSONs to spawn in buildings, create a custom folder inside your missions folder and put them there as well. Because when you come across any tutorials from me, for example, or lots of other um, DAISY uh, XML modders um, who basically come from the, the console side of things, this is how we do it. So any file we create has to be uploaded to here. And then the next really important thing is that there's a file called um, uh, cfggameplay.json, which again, this is inside your mission file folder, so inside daisyoffline.chonerus plus or daisyoffline.enoch for Livonia. If you scroll down, you'll see cfggameplay.json, and you can open that in the browser. And in here, there's lots of really cool settings you can play around with, but the one we're interested in, in, in is object spawner array. Okay, so within here, this is where you place the... Um, addresses of the files that you're going to be uploading and the files look something like this the file addresses look something like this um, inverted commas custom because it's in the custom folder slash and in this case container base dot json uh, inverted commas and then it would be square bracket to finish it off or if you've got more comma and then the same thing as you can see here at the end we've got a square bracket to finish it off and then a comma but also you need to make sure that in your general settings for your server, so if you go into settings general, you scroll down, you need to make sure that down here, enable CFG gameplay.json is ticked. Otherwise the game doesn't even look at that um, file. Now, if you're on PC, enable CFG gameplay.json is in your server dz.cfg, or if you're on Nitrado, it's in the expert settings dialog. All right, it might be in the general settings, but I think it's in the expert settings. So just bear that in mind. So that they're the core concepts, really. Just remember that any files we upload must go in the custom folder, and they must be referred to in the object spawner array line of the CFG gameplay.json. So once you kind of understand that. Um, the rest is, is fairly easy. So this is Daisy, and um, so I've already subscribed to the Daisy editor mod on Steam. So all I do is just go to mods. I can put a search for editor. Want the Daisy editor mod, and that will say, please, can we have? Um, ooh, or is it going to crash? That's strange. Some mods are recently updated. All oh, right, here we go. It's just running a little bit slow. So it's saying it wants these mods as well. So we'll load those. Um, and then if we just get rid of that, you can see that they're the four mods we've got running. They're the only four we need. Now, we don't need to find a server or anything like that. We just click play, and it plays it locally. Um, uh, I would actually highly recommend when you're doing this, don't have other mods installed, because they can kind of interfere with what you're trying to do, especially with things like hotkeys. 
So this is just loading up. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. Just talk amongst yourselves as we just wait. There's a nice view of some sunflower seeds. Sunflowers, sorry. Late in the uh, right here we go. So we just go open editor, and we're going to go to Chernerus because we're going to work on a Chernerus map. This will then open it up. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. So as you can see, we can look around in the editor. If we press spacebar, that brings up our uh, mouse and then we can uh, right click and then drag it around that way if we press M we can bring the map up now where I like to practice is up at um, Krasno airfield up here at Northeast airfield if we click in with our middle mouse button that moves the camera where it is press M and I like practicing here and placing stuff here because it's so flat because one of the tricky things when you're when you're placing buildings and structures is if you're doing it on the side of a hill it can be difficult so let's say here we wanted to place, um, say, I don't know, what, 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 say, let's say we wanted to place something here like a guard house. So up on the left hand side we can type guard house and then we can just click over that and go, okay, so land military guard house. Sounds good. We want one of them. So we just left click, drag that over here. And if you click down on the blue button and press shift, you can spin it around. So sorry, so I'm left clicking, holding shift and just moving my mouse side to side and it will spin it around till we get the right angle. And then if you press the blue uh, thing, press alt and go up and down, you can raise it up and down. We could get a bit closer. I'm using WASD to move around. So we click on that, press alt, we can drag it down a bit. We can click somewhere on the screen and press T and that will tell us put our character there. Then if we press home, we are now, we can wander around in sort of first or third person just to check, you know, there's no clipping and everything looks okay. There won't be any loot inside here. And then we can press uh, home again to come out. And you could go through and you can do that sort of stuff. And I highly recommend as you're going along, again, we press spacebar to get them out. Go file, save as, to start off with, give the project a name. Um, and then when you're ready to export it, and we're going to export this building, you just go File, Export, and we want to export to Object Spawner, which is going to be one of those JSON files. So we do that, and we scroll down here, and let's, let's put this um, NEAF Guard House. So we'll export that. Now, if you want loot to spawn inside this, like it does in other buildings, we also need to go File, Export, export to uh, where is it map group pods that one there star.xml and we'll call this file neaf guard loot we'll export those so those files have exported so where will they be i hear you saying well if you go into your documents folder for your computer normally under something like a user and then documents and then go to Daisy, then go to editor. And if you sort by date, they should be at the top. So there we go. So Northeast Airfield Guard Loot XML file, Northeast Airfield Guard House dot JSON, JSON file. And what we can do is if we open these in Notepad, we can see the JSON file is really simple. It's just saying object, the landmill guard house one at this position at this your pitch and roll and at this scale so we could make it bigger and smaller if we wanted to then also we've got northeast airfield guard loot so we look at that now this is just one line now this isn't a replacement for your map group pos this is just a simple line now map group pos is a very powerful file and you'll find it on your server and it tells the game where all the buildings are it doesn't place the buildings, it just tells them where they are. And it says, for example, at these coordinates here, there is a feed shack, um, and you should put the appropriate loot in that feed shack. Now, if we deleted that line from map group pos, it wouldn't delete the building, it just meant that no loot would spawn there. So what we can do is on our server, if we find our map group pos file, which would be down here, um, sometimes you can edit it on your browser. Most of the time you can't. If you just download it, 
and then open it in your uh, favorite text editor highly recommend Mac group pause just make some space and we can take this line here we can copy that we can paste that let's skip this tab it so it comes across let's put a, a remark so left arrow bracket exclamation mark um, new NEF field loot dash dash Oop, and then we need sorry we also need dash dash there okay so that that's a comment there so the game doesn't read that but it means I know that that would be that that tells me what this is and then we would excuse me we would then save that and then upload it on top of the existing map group pos and that would make sure loot would spawn there however we've still got to upload our file so now we would go to custom which I think we're in let's just click on here and then we would go to upload file so we go to documents daisy daisy editor northeast airfield guard house dot json so we'd open that so that would then upload that there it is northeast airfield guard house dot json but now we need to refer to that in our um, cfg gameplay .json. so if we go to our cfg gameplay .json, the easiest thing to do here is just to copy this existing file so right click copy paste that in there and then we can just go back to here and we can just uh, oops just go back copy that Go back to here and then paste with the control J and there we go so we just always when you do this just double check your syntax so is everything there so we've got opening square bracket X um, inverted commas custom slash NEF uh, guardhouse.json inverted commas comma so you know so the format of it is correct we haven't broken the format it is very very difficult to break the format by missing out commas missing out exclamation marks missing out inverted commas and missing out quotation marks so always double 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 check if you want to be really serious what you want to do and what you should do every time is you should go to uh, xml validator like xmlvalidation.com and then with your JSONs you go to um, jsonformatter.curiousconcept.com if you just do a google search for json formatter and you can put them paste them in here or upload them into here and it will check that you've got the formatting right because trust me it is incredibly easy to make a mistake um, and uh, and miss out a comma or miss out something then all you would do now is you would have to save the changes restart the server and then that northeast airfield guardhouse would appear and loot would spawn into it um, just like it would in any other guardhouse on the game and that my friends that is the core of how you spawn buildings in on nitrado servers as long as you do them and i'd always suggest what how how i would suggest you do it is that if you really want to test how all this works and you don't have access to a local server to, to test it when you spawn into your server on PlayStation or Xbox, just make a note of where your character is. And then when you go to spawn in um, a building, spawn it in there. So spawn it in there so it'll be near where you are so you don't have to go wandering around the map loads looking for, looking for uh, potential places. And that's it, really. That's how, how simple it is. The, mis the common mistakes that everybody makes, as I've said before, is getting the formatting wrong. So you, you'll do something like you'll miss off custom here or miss off a slash or miss off a comma. Um, or people will forget about the map group pause thing where you were so no loot will spawn but that isn't it's not the end of the world with no loot spawning because there's plenty of loot in the other part of the um a lot of parts of the map another real common mistake people make is they forget to upload the um uh their custom file inside the custom folder um so it's in the wrong place so the game won't look at it and they forget to restart the server as well i guess that's that's the final thing so there we go my friends that is how you do it hopefully you found this video useful if you have click like and please 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 if you've got any questions about modding on day z especially xml json modding and using this sort of thing please let me know and ask because there are no silly questions even if it's really basic stuff 
please ask and I will do my best to make a video about it because often and I'm very guilty of this we skate over some of the simple stuff you know because we've been doing this for so long we forget you know that people who are, who are starting right now and they're like well wait a minute how do you get started so please please ask anyway that's enough from me hope you found the video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and of course I'll see you again soon